When viewed from above, we see this car driving down a windy road. At any moment, the headlights of the car point in the direction of motion, and so does the velocity vector. And both are tangential to the path at every moment. The car headlights and velocity vectors point in the direction of travel and are tangential to the path at every moment. At this particular moment, the path has radius r and the car has velocity vector v. The acceleration vector a can be written in terms of components that are perpendicular and parallel to the path at each moment in time. Relative to the plus x axis, the direction of travel is found from theta sub car equals tan inverse v sub y divided by v sub x. The speedometer shows the magnitude of the car's tangential velocity, v sub t, or just v, which points in the instantaneous direction of vector v. If the speed is changing, then the tangential acceleration is a sub t equals delta v over delta t, or the calculus derivative dv dt. And the radially inward, or centripetal component, is a sub c equals v squared over r. The instantaneous direction of the centripetal acceleration, a sub c, is always inward toward the center of the instantaneous arc. In this triangle, here's the vector acceleration a broken into parts that are tangential and radial to the path at any moment. The magnitude of the acceleration vector given by the square root of a sub c squared plus a t squared. The angle theta between the acceleration vector a and the centripetal acceleration or radially inward component is theta equals tan inverse of a sub t over a sub c. The tangent of an angle is always found from a rise over run. Here are some three-dimensional velocity vectors. The diameter of this roadway circle is six bus lengths, or about 84 meters. Question A, what is the radius of the circle? 42 meters. Question B, it takes a car 51 seconds to drive through one complete loop. Treating this as a two-dimensional motion, what is the centripetal acceleration? We have A sub C equals 4 pi squared R over the period squared, and we get 1.27 meters per second squared. Passengers feel thrown outward, away from the center of the circle. The period is the time for one complete loop which is 51 seconds. Question C. What does the speedometer read? We have velocity v equals distance divided by time. When the distance is once around the circumference, then the time is one period. So we have 2 pi r divided by t equals 5.2 meters per second. Question D. The speed increases to 6.5 meters per second in 4 seconds. What is the tangential acceleration? We have a sub t equals delta v over delta t equals 6.5 minus 5.2 meters per second divided by 4 seconds equals 0.33 meters per second squared. Question E. At this new velocity, what is the new centripetal acceleration? We have a sub c equals v squared over r equals the square 6.5 meters per second divided by 42 meters equals 1.0 meters per second squared. Question f. What is the magnitude of the acceleration vector? We have the magnitude of a equals the square root of a sub c squared plus a sub t squared equals 1.05 meters per second squared. Question G. What is the angle between the acceleration vector a and the inward component a sub c? 
we have theta equals tan inverse of a sub t divided by a sub c equals 18 degrees. The diagram shows the tangential and inward or centripetal acceleration components and the acceleration vector a. And here is the angle theta equals 18 degrees. If the tangential acceleration is zero, then the acceleration vector a points directly into the center of the circle so that the component a sub c and the vector a both point directly inward.